hello friends welcome back to my channel so this is going to be the second video of halloween and i'm so much excited to be repainting all these creepy dolls for you guys this video is also a very special collaboration with alex and barb both of them are absolutely amazing and make sure to check out their videos and also their channel i will give the link in the description box so for this repaint both of us decided to do a unicorn collab and I'm so much excited to be repainting a unicorn doll so make sure to check out their unicorn doll because she is absolutely gorgeous and she would be sending this doll to me and I can't wait to unbox my doll and to see my doll in person. So for my doll I decided to do something very special which no one have never done before. So I think that I'm going to mix the theme of unicorn and also witch and convert her into a very beautiful witch unicorn. And I think that this idea is very unique and no one have never done this idea before. So if you are new to my channel then please like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button and now without further ado let's jump on to our video. For this repaint video I decided to use Monster High Gulia doll as a base because I just love her beautiful face mold and I think that she would be really perfect for this repaint. So as usual I am taking my sharp scissors and starting by removing the doll original factory hair and after this I am softening the doll head using a hair dryer and now I am just removing this from the body. And once the doll head is removed from the body, after this I am taking a screwdriver to scrape off the gluey hair from the inside and using a sharp scissor, I remove all of the icky gluey hair from the inside of the doll head to make it very nice and clean. And using my 100% pure acetone and a piece of tissue paper, I remove the doll original factory paint. And now the doll face is all cleaned and we can finally move on to the doll face up. So I have already sealed the doll face up twice with my sealant. After this I am taking my makeup brushes, soft pastels and watercolor pencil and starting repainting the doll face up. This time I just wanted to add a bit of gradient on the forehead of my doll and just wanted to add green, blues and purple color of pastels to add midnight kind of effect and I just love that on my dolls. For the lip color I decided to go for blue because I think that it will really match with the rest of my design. And now taking my brown color of watercolor pencil and starting sketching the doll eyes. So now when I'm working on the doll face up, let's talk about something different. So when we both decided to repaint unicorn dolls for each other and take the theme of unicorn, I was really excited because I just love unicorns. They are very beautiful and it is one of my very favorite fantasy creature. And now when I'm working on the doll face up, let's talk about something different. So when we decided to work on a unicorn swap, I was really excited because I just love unicorns. But I decided to go for something very different and decided to make a very beautiful evil unicorn which people have never done before because I just love the things which I make which are unique and which make sense to me. So mixing the theme of witch and unicorn sound very interesting to me and I was really excited to be doing this doll and it's just fun. I just love to create different kind of things and I hope that you guys will also love her. Back to the face up. So make sure when you are working on your doll face up, please seal your doll face up whenever you are happy with the result. And now using a very tiny brush, I am starting filling the white of the doll eyes and also highlighting the doll bra bones. And now enjoy the process of the face up and if I have to tell you something special, then I will be right back.
for the last minute detail, I decided to add some eye shines to the doll face to make her complete and now this is both of the dolls which I am currently working on and I just love both of them. I am so much happy that how the doll face turned out and let me know in the comments that what do you guys think about her. Moving on to the doll outfit, so actually I made a footage of this outfit but it was very messy and I just don't want it to show it to you guys but here is the outfit which I made for this doll. I also added this word and I think that this is looking very pretty. I just love that how this turned out. So my grandmom also made this very beautiful clock for my doll but I decided to add some trims to it to make it extra detailed. And I think that the clock is looking very amazing. I just love that how this turned out. And with that the doll outfit is all done and I just love that how this turned out. Now I also decided to add hair wefts to the doll head so using my hot glue gun I am starting by adding all this black hair to my doll to make her hair extra long and to make it very beautiful. I think that gluing hair is one of my very favorite part because it's very easy to do and rerouting take ages so I just love that how this hair is turning out and now I will be just doing the same thing with the rest of the doll head. And now I am finally done with the doll hair and this is looking very long and I just love the black color. And now I am just putting the doll head and body back together. I think that all of the colors are looking very pretty and I just love that how shimmery the laces are and I am just really in love with all the color scheme. I usually don't do this kind of color schemes but she is looking pretty and I just love that how this turned out. I also decided to add this hair gem because I think that it's a very nice and cool detail. Moving on to the witchy stuff of my doll, so I have taken this mask which I have already made a long time ago and I also made a silicone mold out of this because it will really help me in the future. And now I am using my trusty epoxy sculpt and just mixing similar amount of epoxy from both of the tubs and after this I will be starting mixing them together. And once the epoxy is fully mixed, after this I am just starting sculpting the doll horn. I just wanted to give it a very pointed kind of look which I really like and I am also adding some tiny texture to the doll horn to make it as realistic as possible. Once the horn is fully sculpted, after this I just take this for drying for about a few hours and once it's fully cured, after this I am just taking my sandpaper and starting sanding the horn. Because I just wanted to make it extra smooth and to make it as perfect as possible. Now this is looking very good to me so we can finally move on to the painting stage. This is actually my favorite stage when it comes to anything on my dolls and I just really enjoy working on it. I just wanted to give her a very bluish kind of skin tone because it will really match with the Gulia skin tone which I really like. 
once I am happy with the skin tone after this I seal the doll face with a few coats of my sealant and now I am using my soft pastel and starting adding blushing all over the doll face up to make it very detailed and to make the witch mask as beautiful and as realistic as possible. For some reason I just really like working on witches and I have already done lots of witches on my Instagram so if you haven't checked that I will give the link in the description box. Using my white color of acrylic paint I fill in the white of the doll eyes and using my black color of acrylic paint I added the doll lipstick because why not she deserves some beautiful black lips. I sealed the doll face twice with my sealant to seal all the colors in place and to make it as realistic as possible. Using my red color of acrylic paint, I decided to add some more color to the doll face to make it even gory and beautiful. And at last, I give her some eye shines, adding a few more details here and there then the witch mask is all done and I'm so much happy that how this turned out. This is one of my very favorite witch masks which I have ever done. Moving on to the witch broom, so I have decided to take this very old paintbrush and also this brown string kind of things which I found on my craft box and I think that this is going to look very perfect for this witch broom. And once it's fully glued, after this I'm taking this blue kind of ribbon and just adding this to the broom. This is going to look very pretty and match with the rest of my design. I also decided to add a bow to the witch broom because I think that it is going to look very cute. And now this is looking very good to me but I decided to paint the wood part using my black color of acrylic paint and I think that it is a very good idea and I also decided to add some metallic colors to the broom and now this is all done and I am so much happy that how this turned out. So now I am moving on to the doll mask for the last time and I decided to add some ribbons to it. It would look very pretty and it would also be very easy to remove from my doll and I think that it's a very fun and cool detail. And with that my doll is all done.
am so much happy that how this doll turned out. I named her Esmere, which means dark moon. I usually don't name my doll, but I think that it's very fun to do and I would be definitely naming all my dolls in the near future. And what do you guys think about my doll? What is your favorite thing about her? Please let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like this video, share this video and follow me on my Instagram. And I will see you guys very soon next week. Goodbye.